wonderful school in many ways. We have a, a, a fantastic group of uh, organ students, uh, around 25 to 30, and it's, it's a marvelous group that work uh, together here to make the education the best possible. We have a very unique building, to my opinion, uh, built by a famous Danish architect, which was once the Danish Broadcasting Center, the radio house here in Copenhagen, and is now the Academy of Music. And it's a wonderful house where everybody is together. All groups of the Academy are here together. So it's also being with the other instruments, the other groups of the Academy, they meet here all day, and they work together, they play together, they make music together. building where we now have the organ hall where we're sitting just now. We have a small organ hall, we have further uh, practice rooms where they can practice smaller organs. We have a pedal piano, we soon have a pedal clavichord, so we hope, <laughs> and we have other historical keyboard instruments that are here for use uh, of the students. <laughs> This is the common room. In Danish it's Fellas room and it's actually the room where everybody stays at any time. You can leave your things here, we have a little kitchen, you can cook, you have a fridge and uh, we can also leave our music here and it's also a very very social thing where everybody meets and uh, it's, it's a nice thing. This Monday I heard. This is one of our early music rooms we're in just now. It's, uh, the early music department is actually together with the organ and church music department in the academy. And we are not only in a, a department together, we also work a lot together. Uh, at this academy we have two full professorships. Uh, I've been here since 1994, and we had for many, many years uh, Hans Fagius, whom we still will have in the house every now and then, <laughs> uh, but he's now pensioned. Well, we have talked about that I could be involved a little bit in master classes and, and courses, and, per, and also that I could come as, as a sensor for examinations. That would be very nice. I live not so far away, so that will not be difficult. <laughs> and then we got a new professor, which is, uh, who is Hans Davidson. He has just been appointed, and uh, he is a great gift to our house. <laughs> and uh, we feel very lucky and very happy to have him here. So we think it's really important to, to um, um, think, uh, you may say, in a holistic way with the education. So we look at, at uh, not the music as an isolated thing. We, the music has a very clear connection to instruments. And you know, organs are so different in different time periods and so, so that we, we try to find among our unique instruments here the right match between the music that is studied that you play and the instrument you play on. So you get an authentic experience of how the music once sounded was created and how you can make it alive today. We are very pleased to be here at the Danish Music Museum, uh, which has a wonderful collection of uh, also keyboard instruments, many kinds of instruments, but for us particularly interesting, the keyboard instruments, harpsichords, clavichords and organs. One of the major events in the past years was, was the decision that the Music Museum should move to this house. And I was very excited about that, because <laughs> the Music Museum has one of the world's uh, most unique collections uh, of old instruments. We have uh, 
lots of collaboration with churches in Copenhagen and just outside the city so that the students can play in concerts, in services, uh, together with other instruments, with singers, with choir, and get experience in performing in lots of different uh, re repertoire and also contexts, which is really something they gain from, all of them. So I think there are many possibilities that are really special here for performing with smaller, bigger ensembles, choir, and all the repertoire that we can possibly play with the organ. Well, we are very grateful that we have regular access and can come here both for lessons and, and recitals. And, and uh, I think uh, that this instrument represents a, a new phase of, of Danish organ building and where we can do um, different types of music quite well, including uh, uh, symphonic music. And, and, uh, I mean, the Danish organ building tradition has been very influential in the 20th century. My favorite organs are the organs in the, in the city. I think uh, in the Trinitatis and the Helionskirchen and the Domkirchen. I like those organs because they are very big. Yeah. We have a long tradition of church music study in Copenhagen. We have bachelor's and master's degree in church music. And then we have, uh, as a new study, the master's program in organ. Uh, special study uh, also created for foreign students to be attractive to come to Copenhagen if you don't necessarily want to study church music. And, and the, the new master's program will be uh, compatible to, to North American programs and its combination of artistry and, and academic requirements and we'll also have organ literature classes all through that degree and, and a master's thesis that, uh, of substance that will be included so we're excited about that. Yeah. So we are in the castle church in Copenhagen in the center where the conservatory has access to the uh, Markusen organ built in 1829. Yes. I went down because you need to listen to the sounds and registrations uh, in the church. You can never hear the balances uh, at the key desk up at the console. You always have to check downstairs. Sure. Beautiful. Now you did something that you didn't do before. You had more difference between the two ideas. So this was his. Yeah, so in the last 10 years, one thing is that we have got more and more and more international students, and we have to talk English a lot. Uh, I have been teaching in German and in English every week for many years, and that's quite nice. I can now come into Denmark and think that I could have possibly a career in Denmark as well as just England. So I have the cultural experience as well as the language skill and also just developing yourself. You, you become a much more knowledgeable person. That I really like the city and I knew that Bina is here and I knew that they have very many interesting organs in the region. So. Actually, yeah, it, came, it became more and more clear that Copenhagen would be a good thing for me. And the wonderful thing is that we have, of course, the beautiful instruments uh, in-house, but we have collaboration with churches with some of the world's most beautiful instruments just outside the city. Quite different than other instruments I knew before, so it's uh, very different. And it's um, quite difficult at the beginning to, to play the right on it, but it's very beautiful, I think. You could use that in some places with the crescendo here, you know? <laughs> Not in this one, you know? <laughs> and to the right, uh, uh, what do we have here? I 
think they should definitely decide to come there. Mostly about teacher, about the ideas of learning, of, of teaching, about the possibilities and opportunities which they have to practice. So something I learned when I came here was that uh, distance learning is a priority within the Royal Danish Conservatory and that the technology and methodology to use this technique uh, is developed. Hello again. Intensely. Hello again, David. Would you teach uh, the list? List. List. Yes. Yes? <laughs> Happily, yes. <laughs> we have Michael Schatter. We did the first session, so to speak, this week. Mm -hmm. uh, the first real section, session, not just a technical uh, try. And we had a session with Eastman School of Music mm -hmm. in Rochester with David Hicks and his class. It was thrilling to see how it, how it can work and how it can, can be developed, I'm sure. And I'm very, very happy about this. Because often you can hear Hindemith played like something very square. <laughs> Great! But thank you. Very fine, thank you. We can hear the note because the organ is wonderful and has a very other type of balance as in modern organs. But nevertheless, I think, we have to think about how to play the beginning. I'm sorry for being your watch today. No, no, no this is fine. <laughs> Thank Somebody you must so go. much. You're welcome. Uh, this has been a great pleasure having you here for the whole inauguration, for playing in the inauguration your own concert and for doing the masterclass. Okay. Well, this week was, was all about the bishop organ, really. It was uh, an inauguration uh, of the instrument. And we made it a small festival for all the instruments and celebrating that we got this beautiful organ in our organ hall. And I sense that people are really quite excited and focused. Yeah, it's a beautiful instrument and varied programs. The organ sounded absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think so. All respect. Yeah. Thank you.